Hello students, so welcome to the Pharmacy India. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about the second classification of autonomic nervous system that is anticholinergic drugs and drugs acting on autonomic ganglia. So here the classification of anticholinergic drugs is first as that is we just here we have a trick of this that is he hit the gossip please verdict to four so how it mean how the how this monomic works let's discuss the first one is classes natural alkaloids that is h4 hyosamine that is also known as scopolamine a for atropine and y4 is just uh, to make monomics next is semi-synthetic derivatives in semi-synthetic derivatives that is in semi-synthetic derivatives that is h4 homoatropine i4 ipratropium bromide t4 tiotropium bromide and others examples are that is atropine methonitrate hyoscine butyl bromide so the he is clear and the hit is clear now coming on the next the synthetic compound in synthetic compound the first category is that is anti secretory anti spasmodic students sometimes the question will also ask in your gpat exam that which is which drug is in uh, anti secretory or anti spasmodic so the first category a uh, subcategory in anti secretory and anti spasmodic that is quaternary compounds and you can learn like this Pro propanthylene oxyphenonium clindium pipenzolate methyl bromide isopropamide and glycopyrrolate means you can that is a g g4 gosset in gossip you can learn that is g for uh, glycopyrrolate and o for oxyphenonium o for oxyphenonium and p for pipenzolate or propanthylene now next category next category is that is tertiary amine the, in this that is two drugs p for piperenzepine and V for valethamate that is please verdict here please verdict so next is 2 2 means midriatics in midriatics the drug name is tropicamide students just uh, mark is that uh, important because it is also asked next one is vesicoselective so what uh, what is remaining that is 4 so that is flavoxate and oxybutynine and next th third one is tolterodine so this one is uh, about the anticholinergic now the next uh, class of this is that is anti parkinsonian and p4 is procyclidine and other examples of this anti parkinsonian is that is biparidine triaxiphenidine that is benz Best hexol. So here your trick is uh, clear. That is, hey, hit the gossip, please. What it to four? And it is about anticholinergic drugs and drugs acting on autonomic ganglia. So students, this is all about this. Now we are going to discuss about the drug acting on drug acting on autonomic ganglia. Let's discuss the drugs acting on autonomic ganglia. So here we have a tricks first that is nicotine label varies on all packs means the pair label of nicotine varies on all packs. So first one class in uh, drugs acting on autonomic ganglia that is ganglionic stimulants. And in this the first one class is selective nicotinic agonist in selective nicotinic agonist is first one is nicotine means nicotine uh, small dose is used and second one is label to 
so label uh, resembles lobelin and ovaries means venicillin and other drugs other example of selective nicotine agonist is dimethylphenyl piperazine that is dmpp and tetramethyl ammonium that is tma so this is the selective nicotinic agonist so as its name uh, indicates that is selective so next one class is non selective non selective muscarinic agonist n this there that is all that is all indicates acetylcholine p indicates pilocarpine a indicates anticholinesterase c indicates carbacol so all pack nicotine label varies on all pack so now in this next class is ganglionic blocking agents before we uh, just uh, studied that is ganglionic stimulants now we will discuss in this that is ganglionic blocking agents so first one is that is trick that how to learn that uh, just make a monomics of this that is blockage not allowed here please make pure the class just a simple just make a revision of this that blockage not allowed here please make pure the class so in this in this blocking agent so blockage blockage indicates that is blocking agents let's discuss first class on this that is persistent depolar uh, depolarizing blockers so in this the drug is not me not indicates nicotine that is large dose is required and allowed indicates anticholinesterase that is large dose is required in this also and second one is competitive blockers the quart in this first category is quaternary ammonium compounds first one is here here indicates hexamethonium please indicates pentolinium and it is all about the quaternary now the second class in this amines the second class in competitive blockers is amines which is to be secondary or tertiary and in this there are two drugs that is mecal amine amine which denotes make and pure indicates pampidine and third one class is in this is the monosulfonium compound so it indicates the class t4 trimethafen and c4 camphor sulfonate so students this is all about the classification of ganglionic uh, ganglion blocking agents that uh, the trick is uh, blockage not allowed here please make the make pure the class so try to make uh, memorize on uh, on this thanks for watching